I recently did a video complaining about Rockstar's Social Club, and in that video, I eventually just kind of go with the assumption that Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to the PC. So today, I'd just like to talk further about why I believe this to be the case. There have been a few leaks, but I'm gonna pretend those don't exist, because I wrote the majority of this script before that <laughs> companion app data came out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically in the official Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app, there are lines of code that reference uh, different graphical settings and uh, like an NVIDIA feature that was already in GTA 5. And I believe I read that somewhere in there is <laughs> legitimately written PC version. So, yeah. That seems pretty legit. However, because this is still not an official statement by Rockstar that it's coming to PC. I'm gonna play devil's advocate and say that maybe they started with a foundation for a GTA 5 companion app, but ditched the idea and then picked up the idea again for Red Dead 2, but left that information lying around in there because it seems strange that those lines of code would be left in the app. Like, if they're going to do a PC release, then I would think they would add everything PC-related in an update to the app, but... I don't know. Like I said, this is just me playing devil's advocate. This is actually the hardest evidence we have that Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to PC, and if it is true that those lines of code are in there, it probably is coming. It's just a matter of time. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the point. I wanted to make in this video. <laughs> I wonder how many people left just after that introduction. Basically, Rockstar is just doing good business to try to maximize their profits from this game. By leaving everyone in uncertainty whether or not it's going to be ported, you get those people that are all, I bought a PS4 just for this game, lol. Because if you said outright it was coming to three platforms, you're going to get those three platforms' profits, and that's it. By only saying it's coming to two platforms first, you get people that buy the game on one of those platforms. Then when you do port it, the same people will buy it again, as well as the people that only wanted that second platform anyways. So yeah, Rockstar is just being smart about it. They did the same exact thing with GTA V when it came out. It was 360 and PS3 exclusive for the first year, and in the gameplay trailers, they even had the same lady narrator being like, oh, this is a big innovation in gaming, and Rockstar is <laughs> just amazing. And a year later, they announced they were porting it to PC, as well as Xbox One and PS4. So at that point, you gotta ask, how long is it gonna be? And if you look at other Rockstar games and the time it took them to port it to PC, it's usually like eight to six months, with the exception of GTA V. And I think the reason GTA V took so long was because they were spending time on GTA Online, <laughs> that wonderful piece of garbage. And then when they were porting it, it was to three different systems at the same time, so it took PC about a year and a half to get GTA V. Now because we're still like two years from a new console generation, I think and I very dearly hope we will get Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC within the year. I'm sure a fair amount of their dev team is working on the online mode for Red Dead Redemption 2 right now, but the decision has most likely already been made whether or not they're going to port it to PC, and if that's the case, it's most likely being worked on as we speak. So maybe, and take this with a grain of salt, a summer 2019 release? And then the following year, when the next-gen consoles come out, they'll probably port it over there as well as a launch title. However, and I just thought of this right now as I'm recording this, I recently read an article 
that said, like an inside source from Rockstar said that they were beginning to work on like a special edition or like a remaster of Red Dead Redemption 2 for the next gen consoles. And if that's the case, then it's possible that PC gets it the same time as the next gen consoles. And at that point, we're looking at two years. But I'm really hoping <laughs> that we get it soon. Sooner than two whole years. Because, like I said, that, that code is in the companion app. Like, why would they have that in the companion app if they don't plan on porting it to PC for two years? <laughs> for all we know, the PC version could be complete. They're just not releasing it because they want money. And that's annoying. But... It is what it is. As for people saying it won't come to PC because Red Dead Redemption 1 never came to PC, there are two explanations for that. The first is that Rockstar wasn't sure of how big a hit it would be at the time, so they had just never planned on it from the beginning. And this leads into the second reason. Red Dead Redemption 1's code was apparently held together with scotch tape, and it would have been quite a chore to port it to PC. At the time of development, they had never really done anything like this, except for maybe Red Dead Revolver, which was quite different than Red Dead Redemption, so again, they just threw the idea out the window. So yeah, I believe Rockstar is going to port Red Dead Redemption 2 to the PC. They would be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly just so, so stupid not to do so. Like, just looking at Steam sales for GTA V and how much money they've made off of the PC version of that game, it would be quite foolish not to port it. In fact, I believe that this has been part of their plan from the beginning. Limit your release options so that people are forced to buy the version they don't want, if only for a short time, and then once all of those sales have been had, announce that it's coming to a different platform and people will buy it again because it's the version they wanted in the first place. So to all my fellow PC havers, don't go out and drop $400 just to play this game. It is probably coming to PC. At least wait a year, and if we still haven't heard anything, then go buy it. I don't care. It's your money. But I am a poor college student that can barely afford to drop $60 on a game, let alone buy a whole new console. And that's the end of this video. You can check out my other stuff. Um, I talked about Kingdom Come Deliverance's battle system for a little while. And then the last one I did, I uh, talked about GTA 4 and 5 and how they compare to one another. And even if you don't watch another video, I hope you have a good day, and maybe I'll see you in whatever I choose to make next.